on Italki UK TV in association with SMP Europe. It is the day of reckoning for GB women. They now know after the early result today, Slovenia beating Iceland, they now know that they have to win this game by two clear goals. It does not matter, 2-0, 3-1, 4-2, 5-3. As long as it is two clear goals, the way the tables will finish would mean GB go through to final qualifying for the Winter Olympics in 2022. They've got to this situation thanks to early results, a great 5-0 win over Iceland on their opening game of the tournament and then a narrow 2-1 defeat by Slovenia in their second game of the tournament. So as I say, they need a two-goal win to progress and this is what happened and you can see the game through the eyes of Aaron Murphy and Paul Aiden. Curls to the point, sends it across for Chalin. Pass too far, but Chalin uses that to just one time the puck. Good stick by Hutchinson. Hutchinson rims it around, but So Jung will keep it in at the right side. She takes a bump from Shamney Jackson. Wakeling to Jackson. Jackson will just flip that puck off the wall and out as Sho Hyung will chase it down. Sho Hyung with the giveaway nearly there to Harris. And Charlotte Harris out front for Shamney Jackson. She had an open goal, but just got tied up. It was just in her feet and just couldn't get the blade on it. Or it might have been a tap home for the youngster, Shamney Jackson. Here's Harris, rolls it in. And under pressure, Zhang and Hai will hold on. And some sloppy play from the Koreans. We haven't seen them make too many sloppy plays in their defensive zone or lose the puck like that. And they coughed it up a couple of times. A couple of good chances, the last few shifts for GB. And now Beal. Beal with a nice little move at her own blue line, sends the puck forward now to Marzen. Marzen with a shot. Good quick shot from Marzen. Good stop by in high. Marzen to Allen. Marzen looking for the wraparound. Turning and throwing it into the goal mount. Here's Saffron Allen. Allen has an open net, but collapsing down was Yo Zhang. Looked like a glove in the crease there as well as Korea were panicking. What is Hannah Auburn going to call here, if anything, with Saffron Allen and company so close to getting the first goal against Korea? Don't forget, folks, Korea have not conceded a goal yet. Here's Trail to Marsden. Four forwards on the power play for head coach Clancy. Big shot off the outside of the net from Trail, and we've seen that big shot from that spot earlier in the competition. She got a big power play goal against Iceland, of course. Here's Beal. Beal into the middle of the ice. Adams trying to get that away quickly. Rolls into the corner. Allen will claw back in behind the goal. Here's Trail. Trail to Marsden. Beal off the skate. Beal. Quick shot by Adams. Turned aside by in high. Beal stays with it. Adams shooting from everywhere now. That's blocked by Che Lin. Marsden will keep it in. Marsden with the shot. That's blocked perfectly by Zhang Ha. Morrison keeps the composure, slides it along for Adams. Adams with the shot, scores! Adams, oh my goodness! Louise Adams, power play goal! one nothing GB, that's the one they needed! Well, what a great play on the power play. GB moved the puck around really well. Morrison did a good job. She didn't panic along the wall. Held on to the puck and eventually spotted Adams who walked in for a shot. Went off the post and in. That's about the only way they were going to score in this one. What a big goal for GB. But a uh, good little move here coming through the middle. Here's Adams, back to Morriston. Bloom, Bloom with the shot, redirected in front. Well, Saffron Allen with the net front presence, but in high, got the pad across. Yeah, another good save, but I like Bloom. She just got the puck to the net quickly. I like this play too, up to Marsden quickly, Murph. Marsden slides it through well. It was too far for Hedlund, she might have been all alone. Here's Gale. Gale, back to the point. Beal, Beal with the shot, trying to redirect. That was Hedlund, two minutes remaining. Jackson remains in the goal. GB need two to advance. Here's Marsden. Marsden with some time and space. Too far for Hedlund, or she was in the perfect spot. Here's Beal. Beal against Ji Yun. Ji Yun just outweights her. Good stop by Jackson. Well, there's a chance out front. Oh, what a stop by Jackson as she stops Yun Ha. Well, it's do or die time now for GB, and Nicole Jackson keeps them firmly in this game. We're down to a minute 30 remaining. I cannot believe that stop by Nicole Jackson on Song Yun Ha. Lined up at the top of the circle. They can't get the draw though, but Beal will keep it in. Beal trying to slap it through. Beal sends it across to Marsden. Marsden with the shot, redirected in front. Allen took away the eyes of In High, and Beal crashes in. 
to her man, sent up and down by Saline, and because they're on the penalty kill, they can ice the puck all they want. We're down to 18 seconds remaining. 18 seconds now. Here's Hedlund. Hedlund couldn't get the shot through. Marsden, Marsden out wide. She's got a little bit of space out front, couldn't get it to Hedlund. Seven seconds remaining. Back to the point. Here's Adams. It's got to be a special shot now, but it's blocked by Yun Ji. Oh no, heartbreak. Heartbreak for Great Britain. So close, yet so far. But what a battling performance. They fall short by a goal. They needed two. They win the game, one nothing. But on goal differential, it will be Korea off to the final qualifiers in November. Head coach Mike Clancy joins us uh, shortly after the game and I think Bittersweet doesn't, doesn't even begin to cover it. A, a huge performance, uh, shutting out Korea, but coming up short in the tournament. Yeah, we've, we've worked on this and we've built every game that we've played. Um, we, we absolutely gave it everything tonight to, to say we've won. Uh, 1-0, fantastic result, especially against the Korea side. They're a division above us. Um, we just needed that extra goal to take us through to the next stage, and, and we absolutely chucked everything at it. Yeah. Well, both Friday night and tonight, one, one goal would have made all the difference, and it, it, it's all the more goaling. But that's, that's tournament hockey, and that's something that this programme will have to get used to going forward. Yeah, I think so. I, th I think we've got to remember as well, we've not had the girls together for, for a very long time. Um, we've probably had six good sessions now. And, and continue to work pretty hard on the systems and everything else. All this is a building process for the Worlds in April. Um, so this is a good, great journey that we're travelling right now and I'm, I'm, I'm very confident we'll take this right through. Yeah. Like I say, re restarting the programme pretty much from scratch after a, after a two-year break. Uh, to get so close shows a promise for the future. And like you say, that the whole week, the, the performance, the crowds, the, the publicity for, for women's hockey and the GB women's programme is, is huge. It's been stunning. Uh, I don't think any of the girls have ever, ever played in front of nearly 2,000 people in an arena like this. And trust me, the noise coming off, uh, I've never heard anything like it watching the game. Um, phenomenal. Yeah, and that, when, the, when Louisa's goal went in, uh, pretty much had to put the roof back on. It was, it was huge from, a, from that point of view. And this is to have that for a women's hockey game in the UK is, is amazing. It is, and it's going to promote it. It's going to support us. Um, we really want to work through the next few years of building the programme and continue to push it through to, to see what the girls can achieve at the highest level. Um, so getting that many people in to watch it, getting the television, getting the support, getting the... It's going to take us a long way. It really will. And uh, kind of the, the, the short term, obviously, regroup tonight. Obviously, you've had a short talk in the, in the, in the dressing room. Um, but kind of get everybody back in the, in the near future for training camps and, and kind of keep this momentum rolling. Yeah, we're already working on it. So um, we, we'll take a little breather tonight. It's been a heavy 10 days in, in trapped in the bubble, if you like. So... It's, it's time to sit back. We're going to review the videos first thing tomorrow um, and then we'll start building the structure of the bits that we can influence and change around the playbook and stuff. So, yeah, I'm really positive.